Hey, gearheads and gamers, welcome back to Joystick News, where we dive deep into the heart of gaming's most exhilarating experiences. Today, we're taking a detour into the haunting, sci-fi landscape of Pacific Drive, a PS5 console exclusive that's as unique as it is controversial. So, buckle up as we explore the highs and lows of this road trip into the unknown. The journey begins. Developed by Ironwood Studios, Pacific Drive thrusts you behind the wheel of a jalopy that's seen better days, setting you loose in a world that's equal parts beautiful and menacing. This game cleverly merges survival, racing, and horror elements to create an experience that's as captivating as it is chilling. The speed bump. Performance issues. But there's a hitch in this otherwise smooth ride. Despite the PS5's horsepower, Pacific Drive targets a 4K resolution at 30fps, a decision that's left many in the gaming community, myself included, scratching our heads in bewilderment. In today's gaming landscape, where fluidity and responsiveness are paramount, especially in a game that demands quick reflexes and sharp turns, this choice feels like a step back. Locked in low gear. The developers have confirmed on Discord that a 60fps performance mode isn't on the roadmap. This means we're currently stuck in the slow lane, with no option to sacrifice some visual fidelity for a smoother ride. Even more baffling is the game's unlocked frame rate on PS5, hinting at the potential for higher performance that, due to stability issues, remains just out of reach. Navigating the rough terrain. Comparatively, PS5 exclusives usually showcase the console's capabilities with impressive performance and visuals. However, Pacific Drive, despite its indie roots and smaller budget, still raises expectations for a seamless experience, expectations that are currently unmet. The absence of selectable graphics modes further narrows the road for players, leaving us longing for the option to choose between beauty and speed. The scenic route or the fast lane? While Pacific Drive's art direction and atmosphere are undeniably stunning, the decision to prioritize resolution over frame rate dampens the thrill of the chase. Racing away from danger or leaping over obstacles at a choppy 30fps can break the immersion of this otherwise mesmerizing world. A glimmer of hope. Despite these bumps on the road, Ironwood Studios has not left us stranded. With two day one patches aimed at performance improvements on both PC and PS5, there's hope that Pacific Drive's journey will become smoother over time. The developer's commitment to enhancing the game's performance is a silver lining that we're eagerly watching personal pit stop. From my vantage point, Pacific Drive has all the makings of a PS5 classic. Its unique blend of genres, coupled with an atmospheric world that begs to be explored, sets it apart. However, the current performance issues are like potholes on an otherwise perfect road trip. The road ahead. As we navigate the evolving landscape of gaming, where the balance between visual fidelity and performance is constantly debated, Pacific Drive serves as a fascinating case study. It underscores the importance of player choice and the need for flexibility in how we experience our games. Your turn at the wheel. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Are you cruising through Pacific Drive, or has the frame rate put a speed limit on your enjoyment? Do you prioritize visuals over performance, or is the smoothness of the ride all that matters? Drop your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation rolling. Signing off. Thank you for joining me on this scenic drive through the highs and lows of Pacific Drive's PS5 performance. As the gaming world continues to evolve, it's clear that the journey is just as important as the destination. Keep gaming, keep exploring, and as always, stay tuned for more adventures on the digital frontier. The digital